Welcome back to this week's episode of the Kickin' Back podcast. My name is Hayley Miller and my co-host Emma O'Driscoll with me each and every week. Welcome. Welcome back. Oh, it's good to be back. It's um, I'm getting used to this mic thing. My dad ripped into me um, last night about... Not surprised. Yeah, I know. Also, don't touch it this time. You're not an expert, Dad. You haven't been in this position and I don't think you'd be able to talk as well as me. So, Well, we did have a conversation. I had to pick Drisco up on the way uh, to the podcast this afternoon and we had a conversation about Eddie the experts we, going around. So your dad was one on... So Brendo, ye Eddie expert. Eddie um, expert on microphones in the podcast. Yeah, clearly. Touch it. Media, media guy. Yeah. Um, I won't touch it today and hopefully the vision will be a bit more clearer. <laughs> And I've got written here that producer Mim has made it for the second rake in a row, but um, <laughs> she actually hasn't. Uh, so I've written that uh, she we didn't scare her off, but clearly we did. Oh, um, no. She's very vague about not being here today, oh. so hopefully she's actually genuinely okay. But no, I'm going to read the message to, to the people out there. The well, hopefully message she's okay from Mim. Oh, no, I, I genuinely do hope she's okay. But give us something more than yeah, sorry, not feeling great. Just going to rest for tonight. <laughs> Well, wouldn't it be nice <laughs> if we could all have a rest. bit of rest Just have a rest. Just needed a rest. Is it a rest from the pot? Yeah. It's probably a rest from us. <laughs> She's sick of being called the elephant yeah. in the room, Drisco. Gets to people you or know. Or boring. Yeah. <laughs> well, we also just, hang on, okay, look, thoughts on last week's <laughs> podcast, Drisco. Um, how'd, you, how'd you rate Mim? No, Mim was... <laughs> you know, Mim, I would say this to your face as well. Um, just going to throw it out there. The, the X Mouse story was a little bit boring. I had Z's coming out of my mouth. <laughs> but we got through it, and I, you're a really inspiring woman in the end, and you flew the flag for those girls in X Mouth. So, very proud of you for where you've um, come from, and also the fact that you're our number one ruck for the first, what, three, the last three, three years? years? Yeah. yeah so. No, the, what I got, got out of it is that she was small when she was young. Still trying to wrap my head around yeah, that. I had that's a conversation really with Anya. Anya was also so small. small. But, so maybe you I was just gigantic, so I don't understand. No, what's I happened think I there. was just middle of the range. Middle, yeah, just, just average job. Average Joe <laughs> climbed up the ladder as you do, and then um, stopped as most women do quite early. But um, well, unless you're moving on, yeah, apparently not. Apparently, if you're going to be extra tall, you start small. I think anyway. your feet, um, your <laughs> Here feet. We go. When your feet stop growing, I'm pretty sure you have like eighteen months left of growing height. Yeah, right. My feet are tiny, so yeah. well, they, just, <laughs> they stopped at they seven. Stopped at seven. <laughs> and then I had 18 months left. And then I didn't grow anymore. Oh, that so by that so time you were 10, done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Eight, can't do much. <laughs> Nine plus, 19 plus three. It's definitely 21. Yeah. No. Okay. What did you get up to today? Um, you I big work, working girl. Yeah, work. Yeah, big working no, girl. I actually had quite an eventful day. I dropped my... So I'm driving my nana's car around, the little old Ford Fiesta, mm. bright green, can't miss her. Um, anyways, I took it in to get a service mm. and they're like, yep, great, we've got to fix the water pump. They're already aware of it. I was like, oh, you beauty, don't even know what a water pump is, but sure. Um, went to work and then got a call um, when I was <laughs> three minutes away in my Uber to get to the oh, garage. It hey, it's still up in the thing. What's that thing called that they raised? Uh, yeah. Anyways, yep. it's up in the in the sky. <laughs> We're under the under the hood, under the hood right now, taking apart the whole car. We're not going to have time. We're not going to put it back together in time. We actually need to keep it overnight because everything's wrong with it. Oh, great. Awesome. Well, I've got another job to go to. I've also then got a podcast and then I've got football and I can't drive anywhere. So that was eventful. Got my uncle to drop me off and thank God Hayley was coming from north to yep. south. Saved the day. Saved I'd the say. day. Picked me up, had a coffee and here I am. Very good. What about you? I oh, say, yeah. I wondered this if you were going to ask, part. Yeah, gonna yeah, ask yeah. me about my day. I was, that's I the whole reason. About it. it was a long story to get to how my day was. Anyway. Sorry. Well, I got there. What we talked about the whole way here on the car, I like that you just had to mime coffee. <laughs> like I'd forgotten <laughs> just, the whole just story checking, I was going to say. <laughs> anyway, I bought myself <coughs> a top of the range. I was like, top of about middle of the range, but a an expensive coffee machine. Yeah. Because a little while ago I was doing some evaluation. I want to buy a house at some point soon and I figured out that I'd spend three grand on coffee per <laughs> year or something like that. So, um, yeah, got my tax rebate back and I was like, what better way to spend that than um, An investment. on a new coffee machine? And Drisco's giving me all of the uh, yeah. tips. She's got the same one or similar. Um, it's all about the grind. Yeah. 
it's all about the grind and the in everyday life ended with the copy. <laughs> something else. Put it on eight in there. And away you go. Ch- ch- let's. So roll. basically, the the tips were leave it exactly how it comes. <laughs> And then go from there. So it was riveting, riveting was, stuff. But I think I spoke about that for 10 minutes. Yeah. Anyway, and we've also spoken for about 10 minutes without Sorry. introducing our guest who's been sitting here very patiently. Um, so let's introduce her, uh, the queen of season, season seven pre-season, Meg Coffin. Welcome, Meg. Woo! How are you feeling Hello. about being on the pod? Uh, a little nervous, actually. Yeah. <laughs> this podcast, oh. but nah, stoked to be here. And have you listened to any previous episodes? Yeah, your last one. Yeah, I had a listen today. I had to make sure I knew what was going sure to happen. Yeah, I oh wondered God. whether you wonder whether you would make sure you're a fist away from the microphone, please, at all times. No, no, she's killing it. She's better than me. This is, this is, this is in yeah. and out like this, well, and don't sh- touch it. We just got to let them know. Fist away from the microphone. Got if it. You just remind Drisco every now and again. That would be great. Yeah. You're not touching it. You just touched it. Okay. Well, look, it's below my mouth. <laughs> Well, you hope, talk loud enough. Hope they can still you hear talk, me. You talk loud <laughs> enough that you could be 10 metres away okay. and they'd still hear you. Um, I just wanted to talk, going back to things that I did today, but I just, now you can join in yeah, the conversation okay, if cool. you'd like to. Is there anything you'd like to jump yeah. in on the previous conversation we just had? No, no, I just hope I'm not boring and Drisco roasts me later. Yeah. So I've got, I'm going to be entertaining. You're going to try really hard yeah. to be entertaining. Yeah. Do you know what I did today? Well, okay. I was, so this podcast got put together really last minute. Yeah, it was. Um, me having a real busy day, my favourite thing about being an athlete is you can have a bath and a nap and go to the beach and pretend like you're working. Yeah. Um, anyway, I was in the bath and I was like, oh, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to prep the podcast. And I was getting, and I don't want my laptop to fall in the water. So then I figured out that you can do dictation on Word. Yeah. I dictated this what do you mean? script. I spoke it and it wrote it out wrote for it me. Down. My God, first world problems, your laptop's going to fall in the bath. <laughs> Absolutely. But also, Delete, that is How very is cool, though. And it, it also turned out to be really annoying because I do dot points in the uh, podcast. You can't, really you can't be like dot point. No. <laughs> no. Next it, bullet. So is anyway, my next dot point after speak about the things that I learned today um, was actually kind of annoying in the end. Yeah, so it was a – there's pros and cons. Yeah. But, um, so maybe Mac I write another – Yeah, Mac. Yep. A Mac. Yep. And you ha- – did you have to turn it on? Yeah, like, I just had to like – there's just an option because it's like and start then, dictation and then it just great. like starts doing it. And it's pretty accurate. It's not bad. That is. Cool. You can get one of those things that go across your bath and you can put yeah, your laptop I just on. Don't, oh. Yeah, I just don't have one of them. Yeah. I'm Maybe too next uncoordinated. Yeah, next purchase. Next tax time. Yeah. How much I'm that uncoordinated. I go to get up and just need or something. And <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. It's in, oh, smashed it on goes. the floor or in the water. Yeah. <laughs> there it goes. Um, um, well, before we learn a bit about, more about you, uh, Meg, let's just chat about the game. Let's get it over and done with because okay. it wasn't great. Pull the band-aid uh, off. But, yeah. Meg, how was your first game mm. experience? Obviously, you've been in practice matches, but nothing yeah. the same as a real game. Yeah. Yeah, obviously taking away the loss. Mm. Um, Salting the wound. Yeah, mm. we never like losing. It's not fun. Um, but I think, yeah, it's ex- great experience. Um, it was so cool, obviously, to play round one at the Gabba. That's yeah, like pretty stadium. cool. Yeah, yep. like pretty cool. a pretty cool venue. Um, and then, yeah, to actually pull the jumper on for the first time and, yeah, be in the team huddle and run out there was, yeah. yeah what were your cool. sort of feelings like in the lead up, the travel? Obviously, you've done a bit of travel and stuff before, but yeah, um, much team travel? Were yeah, you? so kind of with like college tennis, yeah. but that was all like bus. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We didn't have enough money to fly places. We were like a mid-major college. But anyway, um, but with tennis, I did like um, team travel, like state squads and stuff. So it was like similar vibes to that. Um, But better. Yeah. Because it was us. Obviously, because it's (laughs) better because it was us. No, I actually, um, Megs and I sat next to each other on the plane on the way over. Oh, poor Meg. Um, oh, you don't want it. Excuse talk about me. That. I'm sitting next to Megs on the plane, and you know, if I I was frazzled about something and I needed something, Megs would have it. So it just shows how much of a frequent flyer this lady is right yeah, here. Good. You know, the old Chewy, the, the chewy old Chewy charger. Um, charger. Oh, the portable charger. Yeah. I was like, the you amount are... that we heard about you needing to charge she your phone. Didn't use it. Oh, didn't use after it once. All that. No, I was really stressed in the Virgin Lounge, thinking <laughs> it's not going to get up. It's not going to get up. Um, but Megs has got a charger, so it's fine. <laughs> I had two, so. <laughs> <She> had two. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, one so, for me, one for Jessica. There you go. She's a, she's a frequent flyer yeah, anyway. Right. That's my story. Um, yeah, very good. Um, yeah. What about the feelings? <laughs> Moving on from that, made it all about yourself. Feelings <laughs> other than about being no, on the plane. Yeah, like, you've, like when the first bounce, because mm. I haven't talked about yeah, my first experience and it was just pure nerves and wanted to throw up. Ever since then <laughs> I've been fine. But yeah. the very first 
like time you're ever out there? What did that feel like for you? Yeah, it was definitely like the day before when we started doing a bit of like review and mm. vision. Um, we we're starting to get a bit nervous, mm, yeah. and then we were watching like all the games, like the other yeah. games going on, and I was like, oh god, this is <laughs> I'm like, I'm yeah, gonna so. be out there. Yeah. yeah, like this is real. Yeah, and like you know. They're filming it. Yeah. <laughs> People can actually see it. People they don't watch film this, like, Wembley you know, ammos on they TV. Don't. No, 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 no. So um, That's huge. the only time I probably got a taste of that was the uh, state game. Oh, the state yeah. ammos game. But still only then, alive. Like, still only a live stream. Exactly. Live stream, so sort of it's not even close. Certainly your family. Your family is the only yeah. ones that are... You send them a, send them a link yeah. to the yeah. live stream. No one can ever find a live stream. Why are don't live streams so hard to find? I don't know. Only exclusive access. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's definitely starting to get nervous yeah. then. And then we had a bit of time before as well yeah. on Sunday. Yeah. Um, so I was trying to, yeah, just kind of ease the nerves, um, not overthink it. And then just, yeah, once, I, once we got uh, to the change rooms and started to go through our usual prep, like that's... So to relax. Like we've yeah. done that before, and it was the same feels. So yeah. yeah so what about your fun. first your first goal? It was a couple oh. or a couple of um, first game first goals, but yeah. yourself included in that. Yeah. Nah. I mean, that was just that's just an added bonus. Yeah. Um, to being out there. So that was yeah. That was super cool. Um, and I guess I just got to keep the tradition going. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, she yeah, has to. Yeah. You haven't so played a game without. I know. Yet, what's so the, what was the um, celebration, Meg? Sorry, I can't see it from full back. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. I actually can't. I think it was did just. You go to it one was arm? maybe. I, think, oh, I honestly can't remember because it happened so quick, d- and I was super. Oh, was and I, I usually double? go double, oh. yeah. like, and but like, not the cobra. Like, nah, just a, like in tight baby cobra. Yeah, <laughs> just a just a calm cobra. Down yeah, get, here. just <laughs> quite reserved <laughs> as a reserved cobra. Yeah, none of these. Still, still get the guns out. <laughs> yeah, um, but I think yeah, and like Frankie was right there. Yeah, cool. Um, so yeah, it was like yeah with her. And, it's more just like I mean. I don't kick many goals, let's be honest. But, like, isn't it just, like, good, though, having all the girls, Whenever, like, just get around yeah. you, though? In, yeah. yeah. So That's it's not the thing, really, like, team sports. It's so cool. Cool, yeah. I love it. Yeah. Oh. oh well, on that, I, yeah, I have to publicly apo- I have to publicly apologise to Anya because oh. <laughs> during the game, and I still, like, think about it, still ra- it's, like, still going in my head because, so Anya's marked the ball. She's, like, fair distance out, but she's going for goal and then... Drisco starts yelling at me from like 20, 25 yeah. metres away. And she's like, she's saying something about, you know, someone needs to get on Orla O'Dwyer um, from Brisbane because she was getting off the leash. And I was, yeah, totally, totally agree. And totally. it wasn't just no, saying it's not it about you, Miller. It was like you, about Miller what you were and Phil were like right next to each other, I'm pretty sure. So <laughs> there's a mid, there's a wing. I'm going to address the yeah. midfield right here with these two players that can pass the message on. Anyway, it was... It was the, I don't know, it was just the timing. It was the timing, was was the timing that she was yelling at me and Anya's going for goal. So I'm yeah. turned around, the, the goals are behind me. She's kicked it and I'm still like, and then I've turned around, I'm looking at the ball and then Anya <laughs> celebrates and comes at me and I was like, did you kick it? <laughs> and I asked her, did she kick it? Well, obviously she kicked it because yeah, she just she celebrated. She a point. She's like, yes. <laughs> anyway, and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Trisco was yelling at me and I got flustered and then I'd asked you if you kicked the goal and it was very clear that you had and at this point we really needed to get up and about and I just didn't give her that satisfaction and she was, she, the Irish don't like to celebrate goals because no. they don't do it in Gaelic and she said to me after, she was like, I, that was my best effort at celebrating. It was a one arm, come back one arm half reserve like donuts. Donuts. and I gave her, I gave her nothing. So sorry, sorry Anya. Um. I'll be better next time. Don't be afraid to kick goals. I'll, I'm going to run from wherever I am on the. I'm, I'll be on the bench. But put me on. I need to celebrate with Anya. <laughs> that's great. Anyway, and then Sorry Muller's also kicked oh, her that's very cool. first. Well, her first kick, first, first kick goal, and yeah, goal. that's bloody good. Great, that's unreal. It was, so, and it was a great mark too. Yeah, but I mean, besides that, I don't think the day went very well. No, besides that, injury. Um, we don't really have an injury update too much on uh, J Lo and JC. J Lo. No. We'll be out with concussion for the next um, 12, How, 12 guess, days or however long symptoms, it needs yeah. to take. Um, and then obviously J, poor JC with a broken nose. Oh, that girl. Just, oof. It actually makes me feel a bit sick considering no. she's got plates in her face from last year and then now she's I know. I know. got a broken nose. So but Even then, like, you know when they do the old strapping? Oh, it like, looks yeah, it painful. Like and they look like, it was like push, Voldemort. Push yes, Voldemort. Upwards. I reckon oh, flat, that, flat nose. Yeah. Like, 
Regardless, I, you can't breathe. You can't breathe. Not but horrible. also, I think JC's face swelled that much to the point where I genuinely don't think she could see. See, yeah. Like, yeah. she was well. actually unrecognisable. <laughs> I didn't know it was JC, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Who's this chick out here? Who's that? Because she's on the back of that. New I trainer <laughs> with her face strapped. <laughs> anyway, great way to make light of a uh, uh, yes. sorry, no. doom and gloom situation. But I think JC is. Uh, she's well, a trooper. She's an absolute, absolute trooper. trooper. She'll be on yeah. the mend. And yeah. Um, yeah, everyone will get around her and JLo uh, today. It wasn't ideal to, um, you know, backmen, back women hitting heads. But anyway, yeah, continue on. Yeah. Um, yes. Anyone else got anything else they'd like to say about that game or we swiftly move on? No, I guess just congrats, Megs, on your first game of AFLW. I think you killed it and I think that um, onwards and upwards from here for, for, for the team and I think that at least, I guess, round one's out of the way. I think you not only yourself but we had four Debbies as well. So yeah. I think that's out of the way for you guys. I think, you know, you can just focus on, on your footy and absolutely and sure. getting, a, getting us a win. That's good. Yes, exactly. It's on you to get us yes. a win. Yes, win. Three goals a game. <laughs> um, now, on to you, cool. Meg. Yes. I've done my background research, Ooh. but where? just oh, tell us where did you grow up, your fam situation. Okay. Just goes hit her elbow no, in the funny mode. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, well... <laughs> You want to go right back? Oh, okay. <laughs> right back now. Look, you can give us as much, but keep in mind that uh, Drisco said that Mim's story was boring. Yeah. So I'll keep it brief. Keep it, <laughs> keep it brief and entertaining. Brief and entertaining. Tell us only the best parts and make sure they're good. Yeah. Dot point form. <laughs> Dot point. No, um, no dictation. Say Dot as point much you want. I didn't mean that about Mim. I, <laughs> no, I was, it's a half. <laughs> it's okay. I was very tired last week and I think we jumped backwards and forwards from different parts. I was like, uh, <laughs> scattered. Anyways, Megs, I'm sure you're going to be a great storyteller. Great. Let's Sorry. see how we go. Yeah. Um, okay. Nah, so um, all my family's from the East Coast. So I was born in Geelong, um, but then moved to Holland when I was super young. So I actually lived in Holland for six years. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Fun fact. There yeah. you go, everyone. That's what I use for my fun fact. Like, yeah, so but no, that is oh, really good. Yeah. That's a fun fact. Yeah. That's pretty fun. Um, yeah. But then moved to Perth when I was like seven um, and then obviously went to high school and all that. Lived in Perth until 18 and then went to US mm-hmm. um, on a tennis scholarship. Can I, can I tell you what I've learned? Yes. Today about you, oh, and you let me oh know my gosh, if it's I real or not. So you spent six years in the USA playing college tennis, or and a few other things, or did you do the whole six years playing tennis? Now nah, four years playing yeah. tennis because you only get four years eligibility. Yeah. But you stu- right. studied a Bachelor of um, Exercise Science at Winthrop University. Uh, then you did a master's degree in applied physiology and kinesiology at the University of Florida. That is also correct. Wow. Um, so, yeah, I found that on – you also went to um, MLC yes, as your high school. They, oh, cool. they had a little write-up about you. That's where I found oh, a lot of your information. Yeah, 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 a bit of information okay. about you. Um, and then we well, worked in S&C a bit over, yeah. over there. Um, why – my question to you after in all that, why, why is tennis such a good cross, crossover to football? Because, well, we've just been talking about it, but JC is a tennis player yeah. as well and you're also a tennis player and a star football player. I don't know if it necessarily is. It's not. It's not. I think it's just coincidence. I, and I look at it as well. Sometimes I'm like, I don't think I really should have been playing tennis. It's going to sound so weird because I spent so much of my life playing yeah. tennis. But, um, like, I played soccer, I did ass, I played netball, like, yeah. I did the whole the whole thing, like, when I was younger. I think it just ended up, I ended up having to choose between tennis and soccer. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you've yeah. got to choose your sport, choose whatever. Sport. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then it just so happened, I think at the time, and I, and I honestly had the thought of, like, well, and I was playing in essentially a boys' team for soccer. Yeah. And I was like, well, there's no real girls playing soccer. Yeah. But, you, but I always see, like, female tennis players. So I was yeah. like, okay, I, can do I, tennis. Can, I can do tennis and like maybe go far with it. So that was how it ended up and I just yeah. played tennis and was all right at it. It's just like crazy though that I guess you spent so much of your childhood, I guess, focus- well, obviously you did other sports, but I think then you got to that point of how what how old were you at that time when you chose tennis potentially? like Probably 12. Like 12 yeah, years old onwards age. Yeah. of yeah. not not having like a like a – 
I guess, a, a ball sport in the sense of like catching, throwing, yeah. like mm. it, very different skills. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like my dad taught me to kick like when I was quite young. Yeah, so sure. my dad, um, he played and I always get it wrong and I don't really know because like the AFL back in the day <laughs> was like different because it was just the VFL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. he played in the VFL like oh, reserves cool. well, there you go. <laughs> for Geelong and Melbourne. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Sorry if I'm wrong, but something like that. Sorry, He's dad. told me a bit, but um, so I know, like, grew up like, around so footy. footballs in the family. It's, yeah. it's in your blood. That's yeah. why. That's so why. He, so he it's taught not me tennis kick. at all. No. It's just in your blood. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you were like grew up kicking not only a soccer ball but a football yeah. as well. Yeah, Dad taught me that. I played like footy with the boys like in sure, primary school. Sure. And you watched it even when yeah. you were playing tennis yeah. as well. So Dad's a Geelong supporter. Yeah, so cool. By default. I was. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you, the highest ranking, this is off the top of my head. I have read it, but I didn't write it down. Mm-hmm. Number nine, doubles ranking NCAA. What does that well mean? Well done. Don't even know what yeah. that means. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't write it down because I didn't understand what it meant. But yeah. Really explain it. Um, okay, so NCAA um, stands for National Collegiate Athletics Association. So it's like the governing body of college athletics. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you know what? What I... <sighs> can think of NCAA is on Pitch Perfect and they talk about it, about the collegiate um, oh. acapella. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so that's the only way. I was like, NCAA sounds related, familiar and I'm pretty it. sure that's where it came from. That's yeah. what I know it from. So essentially they so like... real thing though, I don't even know if acapella is an actual thing, but tennis is. I'm sure it is. Yeah. They have everything over there. Yeah. yeah. Like gaming. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's like, yeah, just like the governing body of college athletics sure so then when you play nationals they call it like ncaa okay sure like nationals or whatever so when you play nationals it's all of the colleges that are in division one so there are three divisions it's very confusing but the main thing is division one's the highest division yep i went to a division one school School. you can get full athletic scholarships for division one yep you had i had a i had a full ride yeah um and that's the is that the four years that you yeah did they? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, four years and they like cover your schooling and yep. all of that. Um, and so then, yeah, it got to as high as number nine in the country, so the US. For wow. Doubles, yeah. Who was your doubles player? Yeah. Uh, Lauren Prompt. She was a USA gal. Oh, US girl. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah, she was yeah, Shout quite out good. to Lauren. Yeah, Lauren. Oh, she can listen to the podcast. Wow. We mentioned you on the podcast. Yeah, so, we did quite well. My third year, we went. 32 and 0. Oh. Wow. That's, that's unreal. I'd like a so, 32 and 0. Uh, yeah. Well, we're at 0 and 0 at the moment. But. So then I guess, is mm. were you mainly, like obviously you played singles as well, but that was like the highest ranking you've got is that ninth, I guess, p- spot. Yeah. Did you go, did you do any, did you go any further than that or did you go, like I know JC mentioned the Oz Open and things like that, like what else did you do? No, nah, pretty much when I finished college, college I was like, oh, I'm good. Good, yeah, cool. <laughs> I was, I I was a bit burnt out. How intense it would yeah. be, yeah. Um, and I was pretty stoked with, with that That's awesome. career. Um, what, how many times did you train per, like, week and oh stuff? What was it like um, in terms of schooling versus training? And So we trained six days a week. Yeah. Day off was Monday, which is Random. rude because I still had classes. Yeah. So, we yeah, trained so most days five, um, five to six. Mm-hmm. No, sorry, five to seven. It was at least two hours. Each Good. training was always yeah. two hours, except for Saturday, Sundays. There are longer sessions because they could get us. We didn't have classes. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. shocking. So there's meant to be a twenty-hour limit or something. Yeah. Um, but they like to. You there's the, there's the optional training. Oh, but oh, college yeah. life was good. Like overall, yeah, you got your degree. Like? Yeah. Like, don't worry about like that. Old, I don't care about the study and the. Uh, is it like all cheerleading and parties? What else like, are you doing? Yeah, they're, they're do the you parties. Do you drink red cups? Yeah. Oh, the yeah, red this cups. Standard. Yeah. Standard. Well, now we have red cups here. Great. So yeah, but cool yeah, too, but just like two years, years really. Yeah. Yes. Is it actually just like the movies? Pretty much, depending on like what school you go to. So I went my my first one when was like mid major, so kind of small. So there was like I think seven thousand students. Yeah. Um, and most <laughs> like living on campus or nearby campus. And so a lot of times it would be like, oh, there's a soccer party on tonight. Like the soccer girls are throwing a party. It'd be at their house because they'd all That's live in like one house. so cool. Yeah. Or it's like, oh, like 
baseball party. Okay, go to the baseball house. <laughs> that is wicked. No, yeah. I just wanted to check that's what it actually was like. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty cool. Um, and what are you doing for work now? Yeah, so I'm working as a strength conditioning coach um, at Athletic Institute. Shout out. They love that. Hey, guys. <laughs> Athletic Institute. Get down there, They're ask good. for Megan Kaufman. Go. Yeah. Um, yeah, so working with some one-on-one clients and then also doing like um, youth athletic de- um, development, which cool. is cool. Yeah, I love that. And then, so obviously you got a bit of footy in the family, but how did you get into footy? Because obviously journey. you went you went from yeah. Wembley amateurs yeah. straight to AFLW. Skip the in between. <laughs> yes. Tell us, like, how did the last basically year or two come? But out? I guess start from when you. I want to know when you got back from college tennis, and then what made you start playing football? Okay. Well, Which so was I. In the last couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> so same question. Okay. <laughs> do, your, do your research. Okay. Well, I just mean the I don't I we, you just you've just given it away by saying she played at Wembley, and then got into AFL. I want to know the story. Everyone already knows. From that. the horse's mouth. <laughs> yeah, it's been everywhere. Everyone knows Wembley, Wembley. Anyway, so sorry. <laughs> Ignore us. Continue on. Um, okay, well, but from when I finished tennis, I took two years off to do my master's. So I wasn't playing yes, sport. Yes. I was just doing um, studying. studying and then interning as an SNC. Um, then I got back to, oh, I did a little bit at Claremont. I forgot that. I did a little bit of SNC at Claremont. Right. When COVID hit the fan, yep. I came back to Australia in August 2020. Between okay. August 2020, no, March. 2020 to August 2020, mm-hmm. I was in Australia mm-hmm. and I was doing some s c at Claremont. Yeah. So started to get around the footy scene, cool. um, meet some people, um, then went back, finished, came back to Australia, June 2021. I love the date. Yes, Thanks. Right. So, really specific yeah. Yeah. Just so you all know, yeah. map it out. Yes. Yeah. Write it down if you want. Writing notes. I'm writing notes. That's a Um And then was doing s c stuff, got involved at West Perth. As S and C, cool. So again, around footy, um, but I knew I wanted to play when I was at, like when I was helping out at Claremont. I was like, oh, I want to do this. I want to play. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, like it was really frustrating. And yeah. I actually got like I was a bit kind of like bummed out that I was like I have to go back and finish my stupid degree. <laughs> <laughs> I just decided to do. <laughs> um, yeah. And then uh, my good friend Meg Meg Connell. Mm-hmm. Um, she introduced me to Wembley. She was like, just go to Wembley. She knew a few of the girls down there. Yeah. And at the time I had to juggle my schedule at West Perth and their trainings. Sure. And, and the trainings of whenever. Yeah, whatever club okay. I chose to go to, what days, and it just worked out. Great. Went down there, good, good group of girls, had fun. Yeah. Just had a bit of fun. Just I had remember a bit going of fun. down. I remember Only going got forty five disposals and three games per three goals per game, <laughs> but um, not even not even a joke. I remember going down and watching yeah, one game. Yeah, like, game, yeah. Absolutely. Was, cool. Yeah, well before like it was uh Williton. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, it was. I remember. Oh, you remember. <laughs> you remember me being there? She's I remember famous. you. David um, <laughs> knows her. And, <laughs> and I remember because I went down and watched Adele, um, Kiara's partner, yeah. and I was like, oh, that girl, the one in the midfield, just like zing, 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 gun. Zing. That was you. That was an absolute gun. And then here you are. You yeah, made it. Yeah, That's yeah, so cool. yeah. What? That's so, cool. what's the step up like? Because obviously, most people go maybe ammos. Now, yeah, some might play ammos, then play like waffle, waffle and, and then, then go to AFLW. Yeah. You yeah. just went from ammos to AFLW. <laughs> what was that jump like? Or have you just been like, you know, footy's pretty new to me. I just go and do whatever. Because um, that's what it looks like from the outside, though. I like look at you and just think like you have so much fun out there, and you just like you've got nothing to lose, so you just yeah. go out and give it a crack. And yeah. I, I absolutely froth that. Like I love <laughs> yeah. that, and I think that's what I see when I watch you play footy. But yeah. from your perspective, in your little brain, <laughs> little excuse little. me. Speak Sorry, to that, hang on. Sorry, she masters. So at least huge she's not, big mega mind. At least here. she's not calling you an elephant. So. Yeah, she just called. Oh, she just boring. said you had a little brain. Whatever. <laughs> No one's going to want to come on this question. No one's going to come on this podcast anymore. Um, what's the, yeah, what's really the you go. jump yes. from yeah. Amos to AFLW being like? Yeah. Um, I think obviously just the obviously the standard and like the skill level of the yeah. sport, mm-hmm. like big jump. Um, I think had I not had the background that I do in terms mm-hmm. of with college and all that, I think it would have been a lot more overwhelming yep. just in terms of the – professional side of it like yeah. the commitment 
yeah. how professional it is um, and the expectations with that. But I think because of college, I was like, I know expect. what's expected in an elite environment. I've also, and then also I think being around sport mm. as an SNC in the coaching side of it, I, and then I'm like, okay, yeah. I know the expectations from yeah. that side of it yep. as well. Yeah. So. I didn't think about, yeah. think of it like that. that. But yeah, you've been around it for yeah. So ages. for me that, yeah. that, like it's helped like. Yeah, 100%. tremendously. So you just usually you're telling people what they need to be doing, and now you just have to listen do, and do, do it. it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, okay, I'll just I'll be super think, coachable. Yeah, that's, that's, that's potentially easy. half of it. Like that's why I guess yeah. that draft age has always been kind of um, contemplated whether it should be changed purely for the fact that half of coming into a program like this is having that life experience, but also. Yeah. I guess that yeah, being around a professional environment and yeah. being the ideal athlete, which you already knew how to do, yeah. you just had to adapt it to a football scene. Like these yeah. these girls are coming out of school, yeah. getting yeah. drafted, and then well, girls and boys, yeah. um, and then I guess football becomes their life. But it's it's quite consuming. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think obviously Waffle does its best mm. yeah. with like the resources and mm. everything that they have to prepare, prepare athletes yeah. as best they can. But it's, it's also, still, it's still a step up. Yeah, it's not, yeah, not yeah. the same. And then what about getting like your lead up to being drafted? What were the conversations that? Because I'm sure you had some conversations <laughs> yeah, so with good. Trent or like or <laughs> yeah. whoever about yeah. that. Yeah. Or so, yeah, the one was, it happened so quick. Yeah. I met with Trent literally the Wednesday before the draft. So, so one, one week. Seven days. Yeah, seven days before. Seven days before the draft, I had a coffee with Trent. And Just seven time, days? Yeah. Bloody hell, Trent. Yeah, left it to them. Left it. Well, hang on, I didn't want anyone else to have it, so you just got to keep it on the d Yeah, so he'd come watch uh, a couple of my games. I think he watched yeah. one at Swan App and he came to the state game. Yeah, yeah. Um, yep. Which I think helped me a bit. <laughs> How yeah, I you, performed at the state play, game. You played well that one. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, had a chat with him and it was, you know, just Casual. might be a year <laughs> early. Yeah. Um, but, like, we'll see. Right. And I was like, that's great. Like, no worries. Oh, wow. He was like, train opportunities. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Love that. And you're like, I'm not even ex- like, not even expecting to get drafted. Just like I had and um, I was like, nominating. Why not? Why not? Just see what happens. Mm-hmm. No, like huge expectations. The closer I got to it, the more I was like, okay, I might be in for a shot. Because cool. then I had uh, Friday play the state game. Sunday got a call from Wade or Dan. Can't remember. Yep. The and then <laughs> and then then had an interview with them on Monday. Yeah. Met for a medical on Tuesday. Wednesday's the draft. Oh mm. my gosh! I didn't realize that I it hadn't. Yeah, <laughs> and then Turbo turns up. That's and crazy. Turns up and Maybe Trent just wanted the suspense. Like surely. <laughs> and yeah, my mum was like, you know, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Classic um, mum. You've only played for eight games or whatever. Yeah, you were like, yeah, I know. I was mom. like, I know. It's okay. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> like, but are you okay? Are you Don't right? you get your hopes up, mum. <laughs> wow. Uh, then what, what was those like initial days coming into the club like? Uh, they were intimidating. Mm. Yeah. Um, I was like a little nervous and intimidated by like everything. But um, like everyone was really good and like welcoming yeah. and nice. And so that helped a lot. Um it was just like kind of being like, okay, this is my life and yeah. this is what's happening. Like, yeah. let's, let's yeah. go. All right. Pinch yourself. Yeah. yeah, literally. And I was like, all right, this is happening. Let's go. That's so yeah. cool. And then yeah. you obviously killed it in preseason, kicked all of our goals in the preseason <laughs> games. One in the first one. We only kicked Absolutely one in the gone. first one. I know. Insane. Ooh. And then yeah. two in the second cool. one. Yep. Amazing. How did that feel? Like, what was that like? Was that just, I'm just going to go out and play and it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, kind of. I was just, yeah, going out there and I was just, I'm just going to give it my all and yeah. see what happens. And yeah. Yeah. I think just yeah. Gotten from that very first one, Trent was like, all oh, right, that's uh, round one. We'll <laughs> cancel we'll put her cancel in. that one in. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No questions asked. Very good. No, yeah, like, a, is... like a duck to water, <laughs> oh, I say. Very good. <laughs> all right, um, you're on. Okay. Enough about you, Meg. See, we got that over okay. with nice and quickly. Enough about you. It's still Good. about her. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, okay. okay. This is going to be super quick. Okay. No follow-up questions. No follow-up questions. It's okay. called quick fire. It's okay. never really quick. You try doing it then. <laughs> no. I reckon it'd be pretty quick if I did it. Ready. Coffee order. Uh, as of late, oat cappuccino. Last time you called your mum. Oh, God. Um, well, I actually I half like live at home, so I see her a bit. Oh, so today, 
Yeah, no follow up questions. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was a statement. You were trying so hard not to follow up question on the coffee one. I know. Uh, and you're uh, uh, uh. Okay, next so one. I didn't even say yep. <laughs> okay, the next one. Pre game routine. Um, oh, okay. I have a funny one and then a, a good one. Okay. I'll start with the good one. So in our, we get two minutes for our prep, mental yeah. prep. Um, in that, I was always tie my shoelaces, even if they're already okay. tied. I'll untie them, retie them. Yep, cool. just like a way to reset. I yeah, like, like that. that. Prepare, yeah. prepare for battle. Yep, great. You I know, like, yeah. yeah. Um, one on. that only started, and I used to do that in tennis. It was like same. Like, so I've kept sure. it. This one's new as of uh, the <laughs> Richmond practice match. It was uh, night before, and sorry to. Corey and nutritionists and everyone um, was uh, ramen. Oh, I have a bowl of like ramen noodles or like me goreng. Wait, just the like the just the packet one. Yeah, yeah packet noodles. For dinner or is that an extra? No, no, I was no, say, not dinner. That's, surely nah. that's an extra. Yeah, like a, that's like late, like after, after dinner, after dinner, yeah. after dinner, a little bit later. That's I don't know right. how it happens. Salty. That's yeah, exactly. Good. I was Surely like, salty. Don't be silly. They're not going to get... I have a bloody Coke and a Portuguese tart. <laughs> 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 so don't worry, Megs. You take so your I, ramen. That, so I've stuck that. I brought I brought a pack of ramen to the yeah. Brisbane game. It didn't oh, help, but... Um, that's we'll okay. Still keep to go. Hang on, you keep to go. That's fine. Oh, yeah. I agree. You're good to go. Anyways. Sorry. That's really cool, though, to know. Just so... We can pack some extra if you need. Yeah. Sometime. <laughs> um, outside of football, what would be your dream job? Um, I think for a long time, well, I've always like wanted to be involved in sport, so mm-hmm. like a head of head of performance. Yeah, cool. Like a professional, like team. a Bo- Boris. Yeah. So basically, I'm coming for your job. Yeah, Boris. Yeah. Yeah. Boris. <laughs> yeah. Me and my finished, ramen are coming I, for you. Once I've finished That's this, like meal plan for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Oh, you know, except I listened to the podcast <laughs> and then I was like, she took, no, she took the one that I would say was uh, transportation. Yeah, that's transportation. Fine. That's okay. Transportation. <laughs> transportation. <laughs> I would like to be. <laughs> She's off on the train. <laughs> Transfer. Like, 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 transfer. Transfer. Sorry, I got it. Okay. You know Teleportation. That one. Yes. Very good. Yeah. But now I'm like, oh, it's boring. But no, no, no that's, that's, that's cool. That's fine. Yeah. That'd be late. It's fine. Um, <laughs> done. <laughs> First impressions of Miller and Drisco. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, Drisco. Obviously, like. Just, you probably get, you're like, I know what you're about to say. <laughs> She's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> nah, super bubbly, very positive, just good energy. I like being around you. Oh, and because I had a chat to you about Sally, because you knew, we had yeah, a mutual friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so that was always that. really nice. So then know? I was like, cool, we're mates already. We're friends. <laughs> Rapport, Bill. Wow. Done. Done. That was it. <laughs> um, I think, Mil, I didn't know... I think I was like nervous <laughs> to meet you at first. This is, this is this is how it usually goes. You're like, yeah, ah. <laughs> try and be approachable and no, but just then you like were. scared of me for some reason. Nah, because then you were. Because then you um, you gave me a hug when I was first mm. in, the, in the club, and I was like, oh, okay, it's fine. <laughs> great gal. <laughs> <laughs> Hugs fine. So I think that it's great. Not like yeah. for you though. It's because you're a very good player. You've also been a role model to a lot of the girls coming in. Yeah. Maybe not makes you didn't watch, like, will you still watch I was footy, starting to, yeah, starting like, to watch it. You're like. Then, you know, everyone's like, oh, you're going to meet Hayley Miller. Yeah, like, like, you I'm know, like, it's yeah. Hayley Miller. Like, but I was also, I'm like, yeah, yeah, she's a person. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah. I'm yeah, still a person. A person. No, I know, but I think be, um, take it as a crying. crime, though, I know. As people, they're not intimidated by you, they're in awe of you. Yeah. Thank you. That's really nice. Wow. That's like really the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Well, guys, settle down. I'm you flattered. Teary, you know? I'm flattered. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel the tears. Uh, All right. Well, now we're going to have to go um, Miller's ma- mailbag because mm. Mim, again, will just reiterate she didn't turn up again. She's hopeless. She's honestly oh. hopeless. <laughs> Hope, vague, she, hope, vague. She's, hope she's feeling all right, though. Yeah, yeah. We hope she's okay, but bloody hopeless, honestly. Yeah. Mm. All right. So this is where people send in some questions. Yeah. Um, cool. It's not too many. But I, there is one from your friend because you oh. just mentioned her before. Anyway, your first one, Hayley Bennett asks, what do you think of early runnels? 
It's so random. Um, Ellie's great. <laughs> yeah, great. Actually, I, no, I sat next to her on the plane um, on the way back from Brizzy, had some great chats. Mm. You didn't shut up the whole time. I was sitting in front of you too. Sorry that we're trying to ha- just getting to know each yeah. other, having a good conversation. <laughs> God. Couldn't get yeah, to okay. sleep. Yeah. I'm still like yeah, wired. Jiggery. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So now she's great. Great player. Oh, oh. now phone's gone off. <laughs> Get now, right. no. gonna, it's probably one of my a, patients. A phone's gone off. <laughs> I All don't right. care. I'm anyway. off the clock. Move, moving on. Yeah. Meg Connell asks. Meg Connell, yep. How much do you love Wembley Football Club <laughs> and the Chick Pies? And the Chick Pies. Love why, why are you called the Chick Pies? Because it's Magpies. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, chick. Chick. chick Pies. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know when that started. Mm. Um, I'm not sure. But, yeah, so it's I great. I've heard that thrown around. Yeah. It's great. Nah, love them. Yeah. Um, Headed up by uh, the great Paris Laurie. Paris Laurie, yeah. Paz, to, that's awesome. Used to play for Frio yeah. and the Eagles, but better when she was at Frio. Yeah. <laughs> um, we actually um, wear the same number. Oh, wow. Yeah. Not, but just, yeah, and yeah, I told her, she was like, yeah, but her number at Eagles, what? not at Frio. What number do you wear? 25. I'm not, I'm not good at numbers. I've worn 25 <laughs> once, not for Frio, but there you go. No, I'm but sorry. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, I know this person's this number. And people yeah, ask me, Who, what number is this person? I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. They, mm. I just see the front yeah. of it most of the time. Yeah. I was like, I don't, I'm not good with numbers. Anyway. Yeah. So, so, but I was like, 25 was good. I like yeah. 25. Did Paz like give you any sort of indication on like how you were going and like tell you you're a gun? <laughs> or like, <laughs> she'd tell you. Yeah, every training. Yeah. You're a gun. No other thing. I'd walk up to her and be like, Tell me I'm a guy. Please tell me. Tell me again. Tell me again how good I am. No. No. um, Yeah, I mean, she was like, just, yeah, she was a good coach. She told me when I was doing good stuff like that, but it wasn't, yeah, she'd pump up my tyres or anything. No, no, I mean, just like, just keep it cool. Keep it cool. Yeah. I think I asked her closer to it about nominating. Nominating Because I was like, I, I didn't know anyone. Like they had gone through it, and I was, and I honestly had no idea what I was doing. Yeah, I was like, yeah. when, I was like, how does this? Does this is this online? <laughs> yeah, is it open for everyone? Yeah. Do so I use my email address? Yeah. And then and then do Connors, I use a fake email um, address or do I use my real one? Yeah, and like I asked her, I was like, should I nominate? She said, yeah, mate. Yeah. Like, go ahead. Great. Like, nothing cool. to lose. And then I spoke to Amy Lavelle a little bit. Mm-hmm. She's down there as well, and she's like, yeah, are you nominating? I was like, yeah. <laughs> Don't know how to do it, but I'm sure, gonna but do yeah. it. Sure. Yeah, cool. Yeah, good. So now. Um, Liv Rimmer asks, um, what is, one of my is that one of your friends too? <laughs> what has been the most challenging and most rewarding moment since joining Fremantle? Oh, that's a nice question. Wow. Yeah. Liv Rimmer. Oh, um, damn. So the first part, most challenging. Um, I think just coming to a new environment, that's always hard, like when you, and not knowing anyone. And I think also knowing that our, my background and my journey was like a bit different. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was probably the most challenging and just, like, wanting to make sure that when I came in to, like, yeah, get on with everyone and get the respect of, like, you guys and mm. stuff. Um, it was funny, though, that you'd say that because there's a lot of people that have come from a similar sort of journey I as know. you. Like, it's funny because you think you're going to think that because that's natural because yeah. I haven't played football for, like, most of my life and yeah. just came in really new. Obviously, you're probably a lot newer than a lot of the people, but... There's a few girls that came in similar yeah. to yourself and did a bloody good job. <laughs> You're doing a bloody it good was job. Good to like, also then like to talk to mm. those girls as well, like a few that had like a bit of a different, they came like cross coders yeah. and mm. stuff like that. Um, is it most exciting? Most rewarding. Rewarding. Mm. Oh, rewarding. I think it's just to be a part of one, like the team in like Frio, to be part of AFLW, mm-hmm. like the league, um, and to get to play footy is a pretty cool thing. Like, it's like the coolest job in the world. Yeah. <laughs> so getting paid to play sport is pretty sick. It's yeah. pretty good. Right. Get paid to have a nap and have a bath and it's work. And for for some. For <laughs> some. <laughs> Don't you say that because you did the same thing. I was studying. No, you were. You <laughs> were good. Times. Six months I'd you studied didn't. For four years. So did I. And I worked <laughs> for four years. And I had still... two months off. Two months off. And then this woman rolls in here every day. I've had a bath. <laughs> and I'm never working again. <laughs> nice just like, for some. Look at that. Just wear yeah. the right eye. It's, it's, it's an immediate <laughs> catch. It's an immediate catch every time. So Anyways. good. Anyway, uh, moving on. Yeah. Jazz Dance is back. Were you a better tennis player than JC? Uh, 
<laughs> I don't think so. You don't think I, so? Well, because we were I like different. I can't remember what her credentials were. No, nah, because I thought she played like in junior yeah, Australian so Open. So, yeah, mm. so I definitely didn't. Mm. Um, so kudos to JC. Oh, That's all they um, But JC didn't play doubles, so could be I'm different sure she did. Yeah. Oh, Usually, yeah, you pretty yeah, much okay. always do at yeah. some point. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Didn't, know. Yeah. didn't know that. But you were Maybe Serena not Williams' ball girl, so. Yeah. Not as good. No. Sorry. You <laughs> I was Sam Stoza's ball girl. Oh, that's also pretty cool, though. Pretty cool, but. No, it's not as good. Sorry. Sorry. Not, Sorry. Sorry. not, even, not, not even close to being tried on the same level, but it was a good chance. It's kind of cool, though, still. Right, and to finish, a, a trio of questions from Gabby O'Sullivan. Of course. Trio. Number one, is it true you are following in the footsteps of former college athlete Gabby O'Sullivan? Oh, no. God. <laughs> Even deal with her. No, she played basketball. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> She's grabbing at straws there. Okay. She's absolutely grabbing at straws. Okay. Who on the tennis circuit would you liken your game to? That's actually a good question. In my what? Who on the tennis circuit would you liken your game to? So, oh, who, did you like? Like who, did you, who did you like? Who did you play? What did I, I, thought, did I not say the right? No, no, no. <laughs> was I speaking I a different were, language then? No, no I it sounded like saying like in. Oh, I don't know. Lichen. Like, I struggled. K E N. Lichen. Thank like like um, Ash Barty. I know that sounds oh. like no. No, 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 no. Hello. I know. Hello. Whoa. I knew I was going to get that response as soon as I said it. I was going to preface it with like, Megs, okay. you know you're a gun. You're a gun. All I'm right. Tell you you want to tell you you're a gun? Oh. Fine. You're a gun. Yeah, positive <laughs> affirmation. Right? Um, no, like, style of play. I'm obviously nowhere near as good as her, but I am. Oh, that is cool. Style of play, oh, though. That was so good. You yeah. I don't even know if there's I any. I did. Do you, I don't even know the different, like, styles of play. Neither do I. I. You could have oh, said that's anyone. Good. That's good. I could have said anyone. Yeah. That was very good. Anyway. Now, I've only actually noticed this in the last 40 minutes or whatever, however long this is going, but is that a bit, she said, this is a question, <laughs> is that a bit of an American twang I can hear in your voice? Yeah. You do have a sometimes. bit of Sometimes. Yeah. And I didn't it's notice that. Terrible. When you're having a normal conversation, so. you don't. Some she words. She 100% has. Okay. Like, yeah. She's going to try listened and change it now. This whole time. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, things. let's try to sound really Australian. Yeah. I've <laughs> clearly no. listened. No, it's because like I lived in the bit. South. No, no, it's, we know years. why you sound American. I know, but I'm just <laughs> Not because you watch too much Barbie when you're younger. Because <laughs> you bloody lived there. Yeah. You lived there for a while. Yeah. It's quite, I mean, yeah. you do have a little twang. It was worth, like, it's gotten, obviously, since coming back, it's gotten a lot better. Like, yeah. I pick up the Australian back, the Australian, the Australian language. The Australian language. Yeah, she did say that a bit different. Australian. Yeah. The Australian language. Yeah, very yeah. good. Right, okay. That's it for, for the mailbag. Um, lastly, I guess, this week's a big week. Let's it's our go. first home game, um, Get down Frio, Frio v Oval. Geelong. Yep, at Frio Oval. Mm-hmm. Is it eleven forty or eleven ten? Because what? Eleven forty five. It's eleven forty five. Eleven forty. So you you messed up. Don't me come by and say you want bounce down. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna miss the bounce, bounce down. down. Well, I couldn't get the timing um, right on the last week's game. I kept thinking it was at. Um, 2.40 because this weekend's oh. at 11.40, but now I keep saying this one's yeah, at 11.10. Don't rock up at 2.40. 11.10. No. Confirm at anyway. what time? 11.40. 11.40. I did, yeah. Western Standard Time. AWST, AWST Standard, Standard Time. AWST yeah. Standard Time. Check the AFLW out. Yeah. Um, um, but also on the same day, AFL Elimination Final. Let's boys. go. Woo! Yes, the Bulldogs. Come on. Is Nathan going to be playing? Should be, hopefully. I hope so. Otherwise, I'm writing a letter to Jay Hill. (laughs) (laughs) No, that's a massive game for the boys, obviously. And I think most of it, are you going? Yeah. 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 I think most 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 of us have access tickets. So it will be so loud. Well, why wouldn't you? It's going to be great. Great week for the club. Um, Huge build up. We play beforehand. Um, Yeah, the boys obviously get down to it, support them. But I think. Come and bring your purple army to Freo Oval first. Yeah. Um, hopefully, we can snag a win before they win against also the doggies. Snag a win. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Get the get the winning. It's exciting. Going. Yeah, really we're going to start off the winning, and they will continue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yep. All right, that's it for this week, Meg. How was your podcast experience? Yeah, it was great. Thanks for having me. Oh, I love the loved chats. You. Was it entertaining enough for you? Just yeah. Wrote? Was that all right? It was beautiful. <laughs> And now I'm noticing, you know, that American twang oh, made it made it just something. Like, the, the American twang you didn't notice <laughs> that I picked up in the last three minutes. You're gonna be listening for it now. You're gonna be like, I'm gonna "What was that? Was that American? Was that, was that a twang? Can I you say that, that word that again? Was that?" <laughs> All right, thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to like, 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 like. <laughs> like, subscribe, and leave a review. And we can't wait to see you all at Frio Oval this Saturday. Eleven forty. 
Hit us up with your ending quote. Okay, this quote is made for about three brain cells from Ellie Queen herself. Stay cool, but don't freeze. (laughs) 